The thing that's, that's become very important and is very important for moving especially is that soundness is a key issue and there's several different elements that uh, we look at when we start to look at uh, at the level of soundness that a horse needs to be in in order to do what that horse does. You can do these things in your, with your own horse as well. One of the things that's critical is that they need to be able to reach with their hind leg up into and beyond the, the front print of, their, of the front foot. And uh, if they don't do that, then you have to realize that there's something wrong. And there's a number of things that we look at when we start to see horses that don't reach up to that level and are stabbing their toes behind. Uh, they're basically not very sound or very happy. The lateral medial balance of the foot is one of the key elements to that. And uh, you can get that information on this same website uh, to help with, uh, with that instruction. But most importantly, horses that are champions, that really go out and do the things that the owners would like for them to do, they need to have confidence in the footing. That's a big problem, it always has been with barrel horses. And we've come on to looking at that from a slightly different perspective. We've looked at sliders, we looked at rim shoes, barefoot, and the whole gamut of things that horses wear to help them perform at their highest level. The thing that we now realize is, is that if they can clean that foot out each and every time they extract it from the ground, they have a full uh, bodied foot to go into the ground the next step. They need to have traction in order to reach their full range of motion, just like they do at a walk. Those are critical issues, and you can examine those things, see those things early uh, at, at simple things at a walk. That same principle applies when they're performing. Horse needs to have confidence, know that they're not going to fall down if they take that corner as fast as they need to in order to become a champion. We've begun to fill the bottom of the foot so that dirt won't, won't stick to the bottom of it. That's one of our key elements that we look at today. And it's taken us to a whole new level of understanding as to how we keep horses sound, what it takes to give them that full range of motion and the confidence to turn that corner. I'm very, very, very specific about how I prepare the foot. And it's done in a manner that allows me to place the shoe around the most vulnerable spot on the horse's body, which is the coffin joint. That's where the navicular bone is. And it needs to be equally proportioned front to back, side to side around that spot. The, tr the shoe that I use is very specific as well for what that horse does for a living. And it provides that horse with traction if that's what they need. If they need to have a slider, if they're a rainer, well, that's another issue. But the fact is that keeping that foot clean, giving them the most important thing they have is a confidence to turn that corner is what I look at when I, when I shoe a high-level barrel horse. So in conclusion, what it really boils down to is that you trim for soundness and you shoe for performance.